In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to change the default search engine for Google Chrome. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And one thing to note is that this method works only for the computers that are joined to Active Directory or will be joined in the future. And in that case, the settings will be inactive until the computer is joined to a domain. Anyways, here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to change the default search engine and it works by creating few registry entries in Windows registry. And the first registry entry is to enable the default search engine. And after that, we set the preferred search engine. For example, in this case, I will be setting DuckDuckGo as my default search engine provider. And you can set it to whatever you like. For example, here you can see a list of available search engines. So use whatever you like the most. And now I will click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this Windows Virtual Machine. And this Windows Virtual Machine is joined to Active Directory, so the settings should work just fine. If I open Google Chrome now and do a search, let's search for Bing, you can see that it is using Google for its search engine. So now let's open the terminal application and let's run it as administrator. I will sign in. Now let's insert the snippet, let's press enter and for the settings to apply I need to relaunch my Chrome instance so I'll close it and reopen it. And if I do a Google search now, let's search for Bing once again, you can see that it is using DuckDuckGo as its search engine. And that's basically it. Now if you want to remove the settings, you need to go to Windows registry and remove the registry entries. So for that I will open my terminal, I will enter regedit. And if I go to local machine, software, policies, Google Chrome, we can see the registry entries that are created by the snippet. I will right click on them, delete them. And if I close Chrome now and reopen it and do a search, once again, it is using Google as its search engine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.